Hi everybody, um, welcome to my playthrough video for Stronger Man to the Top. Um, this game is a game I kind of designed with my kids in mind uh, late in 2020. Um, I had in, actually intended it to be a part of the Children's Print and Play Design Contest at, at that time, but it kind of, uh, I, I felt it exceeded the complexity that that comp test was looking for so I, I didn't actually enter it um, but as you can see here the artwork was done by my uh, my six-year-old daughter and the character of stronger man himself was invented my by my four-year-old um, stronger man is essentially kind of the same same kind of person as uh, another superhero from the Marvel Universe um, Somebody who uh, gets angry all the time, smashes things. Uh, yeah, he's got a bit of a temper, but in in the words of my son, he's stronger than that. Uh, um, he's the same guy, only stronger. So, um, what this game is about is kind of a story-driven game. We've got a, a deck of cards that kind of play out the story of what's going to happen here as Stronger Man races to the top of this building here all the way up to floor 45 to try and catch the villain. The villain's name is uh, Rigatoni. You can see him up here. Um, he's a, a noodly character, kind of a, a, a villain who likes to create dastardly machines made out of food. So um, that's Rigatoni. He's, he's going to get away. If we do not catch him, do not get up to floor 45 before this deck runs out, uh, we lose. Um, so that's what we're working with here. This uh, I'm not going to go over the full set of rules. We're just going to play through and you'll get kind of a picture of what's going on. Um, Alright, so let's kind of flip to the quick reference here. Um, we have the game set up. I, I already got it ready for us. The building damage, as you can see here, is at zero. We've got one rage. Um, and our trigger value is at 4, and Stronger Man starts at the very bottom here. Not even in the building yet. Um, so with this building damage track, the other way we can lose is if the building gets too weak, too many th things are falling apart, who knows what's going on there, and it takes 14 damage. If that happens, um, we lose. So, the thing about Stronger Man, just like that other guy, is when he gets mad he smashes things he is he's kind of flies off the handle a little bit and he can be responsible for a lot of this damage so we kind of gotta walk that line of uh, using his um, unsurpassed strength to help me help us get to the top but also not to damage the building too much so with that said, the, the last little bit of setup usually that has to happen is we have this deck of action cards, and you can see they kind of alternate Stronger Man cards and Rigatoni cards. Um, so when we set up the game, you shuffle both decks separately, and you actually remove three of each. Um, they won't be used in the game. And then you kind of alternate to build up our deck. And I have not peeked at what these cards are, so I'm kind of flying blind here. Hopefully, I do okay. We'll see. We'll see about that. So, all that said, I think we're ready to begin. Um, so, you guys can follow along with me as we race to the top. That's where we want to be. Okay. So, turn one. What you do each turn is you first draw a card and resolve it. So if it's a Stronger Man card, you have the option of ignoring it if you want. Rigatoni cards, you must um, you must resolve those cards. But this is a Stronger Man card, so if we want, we could leave this reinforced cabling behind and just kinda kinda run past it. But as it stands, we found this reinforced cabling, and with each card you'll notice some some text on it and that's kind of the story of what's happening is we could smash and grab this cabling that's probably blocked by some uh, some rubble or, 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 or something and 
and we can smash and grab it and if we do while it's in our possession each round you can choose to remove two damage for minus one floor so this this will be good for healing the building um, whenever you want you could uh, rope together some some walls uh, tie together some um, pillars whatever you want to do but you're gonna go minus one floor that turn in terms of your speed so you'll go a little slower but you might heal the building um, that sounds kinda nice so we're gonna go ahead and smash and grab that so when you smash whenever you see smash what happens is the building takes one damage because you were kind of you left your physical prowess out of control um, and you also take one rage because you just get angry angrier and angrier whenever you smash things so now we have two rage building has one damage but we have a nice little cable to use uh, if we so choose um, so that's the first step of each turn as you draw and resolve that card second step is if we look over here is a special action and that step is optional and there's three different special actions calm down take a deep breath stabilize walls and harness energy um, I'm not going to use any of those this turn and then the last step of your turn would be moving stronger man so stronger man down here it's a little meeple guy he's got a base speed of two floors every turn uh, so unless something um, unless something uh, modifies that we're, each turn we're going to move two. So, I move stronger, man. We got a cable. Alright, off to a good start. Let's see what this card is for our second turn. Alright, so Rigatoni Taunts. Ooh, that's kind of a nasty one. Um, he poked his head out of some, some uh, stairwell somewhere and yelled down at us some very insulting words. And we can't ignore that. I mean, how could you? Uh, look at that face. Um, so, how insulting from now on, minus one to trigger value. So, we've got our trigger value die right here set to four. It is now at three, and that's bad. So, we'll, we'll see how that plays out later on. Can't get rid of that card. That stays the rest of the game. So, optionally, this turn we could do a special action. I am... Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to. Um, I'm going to do use the Harness Energy special action. It says you can trigger your Rage if you do Stronger Man gains plus one floor speed for this turn. Action cannot be used if you have zero Rage. Alright, so when you trigger, um, Stronger Man has all this pent-up Rage within him. And triggering means he might really just explode. He might not. You, you never know. Some, something happens th in the environment that causes him to um, to explode. So let's see what happens. So when you trigger, you take your die here and you roll it. And if it is equal to or greater than your trigger value, or um, yeah, if it's equal to or greater than your trigger value, you um, have damaged the building. So let's see what we get. I got a 2. That's excellent. That means I did not damage the building. If I had, if I had rolled a 3, 4, 5, or 6, I would have damaged the building 2 damage because I have 2 rage here. But fortunately I didn't. And since uh, um, I used harness energy, I get plus 1 floor this turn. Plus my normal 2, I get to move up 3. Alright. Let's see what the next turn has. We got Stronger Man card. All right, another item. Let's see, energy drink. If we choose to take it, um, it gives us plus two floors every turn this card is active, which is pretty nice. That's double our normal speed. But when we when we drink it, we roll a die. We put that number of rage cubes on the card, and at the end of each round, we move one of those into the supply. So for a certain number of turns, he's going to be faster, but he's going to keep growing angrier and angrier. Um, uh, let's let's go ahead and take a chance. 
So, so one thing about this game you'll find out as you play, item cards are usually very good, but they're quite risky to hold in your possession because Rigatoni's got a bunch of traps set up in the building that might trigger these item cards. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to I'm going to drink it. So I'm going to roll a die. And I got got a 1. So, that's not super not super crazy. So, what it said, I put one rage cube at the end of each uh, each round. I'll move that cube onto my supply and then discard it. So this energy drink's only good for one turn for me. Um, okay, so I did that. Now I get plus two from that, plus two for my normal speed. That means I move four. Now I move that rage cube into my supply and this card is now done. So I'll put it in the discard pile. Um, one thing to note about this game is every time you discard, you discard it face down. Um, and there's a reason for that, which maybe we'll see this this game. Alright, that was that turn. It's a Rigatoni card this time. Too much pressure. Um, so we have to either internalize the pressure. I mean, this is quite a quite a high stakes situation to catch this uh, villain before he escapes. So we can internalize that pressure, just kind of bottle up our emotions, and we'll go minus one floor for the rest of the game. We'll go slow, slow, slow because of our pent up emotions, or we can internalize it and minus one to our trigger value. Both of those are are terrible choices so I am um, really kind of regretting the situation that has caused me this emo much emotional pain so I think uh, boy that's that stuff if I put it up here as a uh, as affecting my trigger value basically anytime I trigger because we've already been insulted by rigatoni almost any time we're gonna trigger and that's uh you know what let's do that i can't stand moving only one floor every turn especially with um since we're so far in the beginning of the games already all right so we internalized we're down to a trigger value of two that means we basically need to roll a one every time we trigger that's not good all right, so that does mean um, we get to move two, just a normal turn this turn. Um, and that's it for that turn. All right, next card, a stronger man card here. What do we got? Another item. Wow, lots of items. Uh, toolbox, it says you can bring it along. You don't even have to smash for it. And each round you can reroll the die one time. Minus flo one floor if you do. So it feels like that one's kind of low stakes to take with us. <clears throat> I'm just worried if we run into some traps here that having so many items is gonna gonna do us in. So and that minus that reroll is not gonna really help us since our our chances of r rolling a one are already so slim. So I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna ignore this stronger man card, which gives me the option now of performing a different special action. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm going to instead of taking that stronger man card, I'm gonna calm down, take a deep breath. You know, we've been through quite a bit already. Um, lots of lots of hits to our emotional well-being. So. It says, if you ignored the action on your Stronger Man card, you may use this action. Discard up to three Rage Cubes, and Stronger Man will not climb any floors this turn. So it comes at a cost, but we're getting rid of this Rage. It goes back in here. Alright, so, Clean Slate, we are very feeling very calm, oh, and we do not climb any floors this turn. So, 
Next turn, blocked by Rowell. Smash to continue on your way, or look for another route. Minus three floors, so I'd actually end up going down a floor to do that. I think we're going to smash. We want to keep making progress. We don't have forever. So, when I smash, I take one rage, and the building takes one damage. That means that I get to... Uh, I get to go two floors. I'm trying to decide if I want to want to use the uh, harness energy action here. I think I'll just go more normal. We're we're not making super fast progress here. Um, okay, yeah, that's that's it. So that one doesn't stay in play at all. That that's just a one-time thing. All right, next turn. Please something good. All right, teeny tiny elevator. Ooh. This one is fun. Um, you can ride the elevator. Three three times, three turns will move exactly four floors, so that's pretty quick. But before each time, we'll take one rage and then trigger, which, as we've uh, already seen here, is probably not good for me. After all three times, we discard the next two cards. Um, so I could choose to not ride the elevator. I could choose to just continue on the stairs. Let's see, what kind of... We still... We don't have too much damage here. But we're likely to going to damage the building quite a bit if we do this. Uh, hmm. If my... Boy, if we hadn't had these two cards early on, I, I would have for sure ridden the elevator, but I think we're going to we're gonna skip that one, and I think we'll, we'll just do a Harness Energy. So, we'll, yeah, we'll do a Harness Energy. It says you can trigger Rage. If we do, we'll get an extra floor this turn. Not not super super crazy, but okay. Four. That means we triggered. We'll get the extra floor, but we exploded, and the the amount of our rage damages the building. So since we have one rage, building takes one damage. Now we get to remove our normal two plus one for harnessing energy. All right. We're kind of plodding along here, so I'm hoping this picks up. All right, squeeze trap. Look at that. Strong man's getting squeezed in there. All right, so get squeezed. Trigger once for every item in your possession, then discard one item if you have any. So like I said, uh, good thing I only had the one item. These traps usually target the item. So I got one item. That means I trigger once. So triggering, hopefully, gonna roll a one. Let's see what we got. We got a two. So, um, so we did damage the building again by one, and then we discard an item if we have any. So that cabling didn't actually do us much good. I probably should have used it at some point. Um, all right. So, um, oh, forgot. We get to move two floors. All right, calming lotion, calming lotion. That's great. Um, so if if we smash, we gain one for our trigger value. So I think that's definitely something we want. All right, so I'm gonna smash. We take another rage. Building go damage goes up, but now our trigger value will set to three. So it's still not great, but better than what it was. Um, I think I'm not going to use a special action, so two more floors. Boy, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it this time. Alright, the goons have weapons. So Rigatoni's got his goons, um, and they have weapons. So it says, trigger to take care of things. Now whatever that means, you know, we're, we're just going to, we're just going to take care of those goons. So, um, let's trigger. And we can't ignore it because it's a Rigatoni card. What do we got? 
Oh, almost had a two there. Six is definitely a trigger point for us. So now that we have two rage, building takes two damage. Ouch. Already halfway to building collapse here. Um, so then we get to move two floors. I, I don't want to trigger too many extra times at the moment. So, oh, and that, that one's not going to stay in play here, so put that on the discard. Alright, let's just kind of keep going here. Bystanders cheer. Oh, this is a good one. Alright, so everybody's trying to cheer us on, help us get to our goal, uh, and we trigger from enthusiasm. Or we, we can, optionally. Or we could just kind of block them out, plug our ears up, and ignore them. Uh, so if we trigger, we gain floors equal to our current range, which is two, so we would double. <sighs> but that would likely mean we damage the building for two as well. I think I think I'm gonna do it. We, the luck's gonna go in our favor. I just know it. What do we got? What do we got? Two. And since our trigger value is three, that was a wise decision. All right. So they cheered. We triggered, but didn't damage the building, so that's awesome. So we gain two floors, plus our normal two, we get to go up four to floor 26. Alright. We're getting up there, but, boy, how many uh, how many cards have we got left here? Six, six cards, seven, seven turns. We might be able to do it. Let's see. Alright, another trap. It says net trap. Trigger to break free, or we could discard one item. Ooh. I, I want to keep that calming lotion. Uh, so I think we're going to trigger. <sighs> oh. Okay, so triggering again. What do we got? Yes, we got a one. So didn't damage the building off of that trigger. Phew. That was a that was that was close, and then we get to go our normal two floors. We haven't really found too many floor modifying or speed modifying cards yet. And speak of, we got the running shoes. So if we smash the locker each round, you get plus one floor. I am. Let's see where what seventeen. Uh, 17 spit floors away. Boy, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna smash that locker and steal somebody's running shoes. Not terribly ethical of a superhero to do so, but I think in a situation like this, somebody's gonna be happy to lend us their shoes. So, smash means we take a rage, building takes a damage. So now, as you can see, if we triggered twice, um, and damaged both times, we would lose, because uh, that'd be 3 to 11, 3 more to 14. We're kind of getting down to the wire here. But now, I have a base speed of 3, so I'm going up to floor 31. Not too bad. Let's see what Rigatoni's going to throw at us. Alright, Rigatoni's a right-hand goon. Alright, you'll notice kind of on the side of the card, that's the that's apparently a car. So that's how big that right-hand goon is. He's pretty pretty nasty. So we can smash him. However, he takes a modified smash. If you smash, you take three rage instead of one. Which is a lot of rage for me. Or we could distract him by discarding an item. Whew. If we smashed him... We basically can't trigger and damage any more of this game. I could try to calm down again, or stabilize the walls and try to try to heal some of the damage done to the building. But uh, ooh, I think I'm just gonna distract him. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, we're distracting him. Going to discard our lotion, that means our trigger value goes back down to 2 because we have a minus 1 here and a minus 1 here. Alright, so 3 floors, 1, 2, 3. 
up to floor 34. We got a we got a couple turns left here. Oh what? Oh oh no, sorry. That's that's just me not being super great with tabletop simulator. All right, this one, super jump. We can trigger and gain three floors this turn. A whopping total of six floors in one turn. That is a crazy, crazy turn. Uh, but we'd have to trigger to do it. Ooh, and that's almost a guarantee. That's basically a guaranteed damage. Three damage to the building. Let's go for it. We're going to... Uh, how many cards we got left? No, no, we, we can't risk it. We're not risking it. That's too risky. Okay, so we're going to ignore the chance to jump as high as you've ever seen anyone jump before and just go on our leisurely way instead. Although, albeit with running shoes. Alright, so we're ignoring that. I think I'm going to take the opportunity. Ooh, but I can't. If I do a calm down, take a, take a deep breath, I don't go any floors at all. I've only got like four more turns. So we're just going to play a normal turn. Three floors up. Didn't gain anything out of that. We got a sticky trap here. What does this do? Discard a number of cards equal to the number of items in your possession. If you have no items, trigger rage. So so we have no items. If I did, I'd have to discard off of the draw pile into the discard pile. So it would lose a lot of time doing that. Fortunately, I don't. But unfortunately, I'm triggering then. So once again, trigger, trigger, trigger. A two is equal to two. So I still damage the building for three damage. Ouch. One, two, three. If I damage it one more time with this current amount of rage we lose. So, discard that. I'm sure this card is going to be uh, excellent. Befriend the janitor. If your rage is three or less, put this card face up on the bottom of the deck. can only be used once. So the janitor, you know, he's a good guy, but he obviously, just like anyone, would be pretty scared of stronger man with running by with all this pent up rage. So we got three rage, so our rage is three or less. That's awesome. So he's become our friend. He goes underneath the bottom of the deck face up. And so essentially what he's gonna do, so we're gonna slide him. Let's see if I can I can't remember how to do the under thing. I'll just do it kind of manually here. Um, so essentially, he, he bought us some time. We have one more card with which to uh, defeat, to catch Rigatoni. So, that uh, that actually is amazing. I, I think that probably just won us the game. Maybe. Depending on what happens with this rage here. So, we befriended the janitor. We moved three spaces. Yeah, if this card, yeah, depending on what this card is. Alright, it says Rigatoni's Helicopter. Smash it and trigger. Oh no! Oh no! Or Rigatoni escapes sooner. Discard two cards. So if we discarded two cards off the draw pile, Rigatoni, man, his helicopter swooped in just, just at the wrong moment. Ah... Uh, yeah, so if he if we discard the two cards, we lose because we ran out of out of the drop pile. But if we smash it and trigger, that we're almost guaranteed to lose. Ooh, ooh. Well, so I guess we'll take the the the, the, the choice that we actually have a, a chance to win. So we're gonna smash it. Wait, before we roll, we gotta smash it, which means one more rage, one damage. And now we trigger, and if we trigger, and damage, and that feel, oh boy, that feel felt kind of 
uh, too good to be true there. The, uh, I'm not super familiar with the die rolling here, so that felt like cheating a little bit. Um, but, in any case, we rolled a 1. That is less than our trigger value, so we did not damage the building. So we just smashed that helicopter out of the sky, and our, and we get our three floors this turn, and that means one more turn, janitor's back to say, hey, I distracted Rigatoni, and that means, ladies and gentlemen, we hit floor 45 and caught this guy, man, and he was so sure of himself back then, I can't even believe it. All right, so... Um, everybody, that was that was actually a, a very close playthrough of Stronger Man through the, to the top, um, and we won! Wow, I can't believe it. I thought I thought it was done for sure. Um, yeah, so the the game is on Board Game Geek. Yeah, it's got a page for it. There are files there for it if you would like to print it out and play. Otherwise, this tabletop simulator mod is available as well um, so i hope you enjoyed the play the playthrough and um, uh, please don't smash as much as stronger man does at home all right thank you see you later